Today's Way Up. I'm Angela Yee Manos here. You Manos! Tere is here. Yes, yes, yes. You're ready for your UT? All right, well, let's get into it. Unfortunately, it's over before it even started. Lauren Hill, uh, she was reuniting with the Fugees. They were doing a 2024 tour, but it has been quietly canceled three days before the first date. Damn. I know there was no reason that was offered to fans for the cancellation and the refund notices that went out. At least they got their refunds. And they did not immediately respond to requests for comments. I would have went to that. I went to go see the Fugees when they were first out, obviously. Um, So they, they don't know why. Nobody's given a reason, but you did get your money back, all right? Okay, and, well. But you know what is awful when if you were flying somewhere and making right. plans to go see. And you got uh, flights, hotel, hotel do they, rooms. Do they, do they uh, no. recompensate that? Mm-mm. Nope. But you can, I guess, get a credit for your flight, mm-hmm. and then hopefully mm-hmm. you booked a, a refundable hotel. Mm-hmm. No, we know why. Why? Why? Yeah, break it down. Yeah, break it down. Uh, I'm not even no, going to say let's why. Hear it. No, let's hear it. No, why? Back. You're a journalist, baby. Yeah, break it down. <laughs> well, I mean. It's not the first time something involving, you know, no, Miss Hill know. Oh, 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 okay. has been canceled. You know, okay. that was a big thing in the fall. Mm-hmm. Right. For her, one of her concerts. Okay. Right. Well, She's a canceler. We also don't know what the situation is with all of them together as a unit. Because it's not like Definitely they've not. really been doing that. So who knows behind the scenes? The speculation. What but. happened? All right. Well, you know, who knows? Um, now let's talk about Simone Biles. You know, she's been having this... Um, She's well. She's had uh, Michaela Skinner have some shady comments about the team, about the women's gymnastics gymnastics team, saying they had a lack of talent, a lack of work ethic. Um, and Simone Biles posted the uh, the team winning and said lack of talent, lazy Olympic champions, and she put a heart. Well, since then, Michaela has gone on and apologized for her comments and asked that Simone Biles shut down all of the online bullying that she has been experiencing since she said that. Here's what she said on that video. The original? Oh, yeah, here's what she said originally. But besides Simone, I feel like the talent and the depth just isn't like what it used to be. I just notice like, I mean, obviously a lot of girls don't work as hard. The girls just don't have the work ethic. All right, mm. but clearly they do because they won. Um, and here is what she had to say asking Simone Biles to please publicly ask people to stop bu- bullying her online. Simone's latest post and others that followed it fueled another wave of hateful comments, death threats to me, my family. So to Simone, I am asking you directly to please put a stop to this. All right. Well, Simone Biles did uh, talk to People Magazine, and she said it's important that you have to teach them, as in her teammates, to use their voices. And if not, you're a voice for the voiceless, which is okay. It's. I just felt like it was right in that moment to stand up for them because they're so young and they haven't fully stood in their power yet. So she felt like it was her duty to be able to make sure that her teammates... It wasn't that serious, though, I feel like. What? the original statement that she made. What, calling them lazy? I don't feel like she said they were lazy. I feel like she just said they don't work as hard. I mean, it's an opinion. She used the word lazy. Okay, well, listen, it was an opinion. (laughs) It was an opinion. And, you know, I don't think sometimes people are 110% wrong. They're not lazy, obviously, because they're at Olympic level. It was a little bit shady, though, you have to admit. You know, and that's her former teammate. So it's also like hating from outside the club. Right. All right. Don't well that, do it. That is your UT. And when we come back, it's a Wealth Wednesday. And we do have my partner, Stacey Tizdill, talking to Michelle Anthony. We're talking about uh, government contracting. She has a fascinating story on how she got to where she got to financially. She's the founder and CEO of Anthony & Associates, Inc. Get ready for that. In the meantime, everybody, Nicki Minaj is way up.